what is up youtube so um it's kelly mckay here back with pete ramsey we are just talking hvac business we love to talk business that's what that's that's our thing it's our gig it's our jam so that's what we're doing um we were just talking about should i share some of the stuff that i was talking about that i was reading you earlier just like one little thing maybe maybe yeah. that furnace ad i don't know yeah <laughs> That I would, I'm concerned about that. Uh, yeah. On one level, but people are gonna they, people are gonna do what they're gonna do, right? And I, I gotta tell you, a lot of people are gonna get into that thing, and that's gonna be their new go to. You know, here's what it is: take advantage of it while you can to the level yeah. you can. Yeah. What we're talking about is Chat GPT. It's been all over YouTube, and so. I logged on today and was just playing around with it. And it's pretty amazing how fast it spits out answers to your questions. Um, so yeah, we won't, we won't go into that, but, um, but it's pretty, pretty incredible. And I, it's been, it's been on my mind for like the past couple of weeks because it started showing up on my feed. People, a lot of people were talking about it and um, I, it really concerns me was my first initial reaction. And, and I'm still concerned. Because I just think about how many, but that's the thing. We can't, we have to just roll with it. It's just, it's technology. It's artificial intelligence to a certain degree. Well, it I is. Feel like we have to roll with it. I, I think it's got its place, Kelly, because I mean, you make a good point. It's got its place. It's catching on for a reason. But it, remember when we were talking before we hit record the difference between uh, the knowledge of, of reading a book you know, these business books and everything else. And then the actual knowledge of gain through experience and how they, uh, they don't always align very well. And I think when we're using technology out there, uh, there's some great stuff that we can pull from it, but there's just no substitute for, you know, getting out there, rolling up your sleeves and, 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 and actually doing these things. And I, I, I think it's a big, pro I see a lot of on Facebook, for example, you know what book are you reading and you know they're, they're, they're getting, you know they're doing the yeah. books which and everybody clicks a, a picture of their audible book they're not even reading they're listening that always cracks me up <laughs> so yeah and so anybody I who mean, knows knows that i have a, just a little pet peeve of, around that i don't think there's anything wrong with listening to audiobooks yeah. but don't call listening to an audiobook reading a book cuz you're not you're listening and yeah. it's a different modality and you're you absorb it differently, and so that's that's you know, I just have a little pet peeve about it. You are are you reading it or oh that's cool you're listening to it on Audible great, but don't yeah, call I, it reading if you're not reading. That's all. <laughs> it is, and um, different people process information differently. Obviously, and uh, yep. I learned a lot. You know, there after I sold my business, uh, I was given a very rural territory. And back then the cell phone coverage was, was kind of hit and miss in certain areas. I'd drive hours, you know, going to all these areas and I did the audio books, but back then you had to buy them, uh, you know, CDs or, you know, the cassettes. Yeah, I had, I had CDs playing in my truck for like six, seven years straight. Like yeah, um, so there's nothing wrong cool. with yeah. that. But to your point, um, there's when you actually, yeah, when you're actually reading and you're processing the information, you're taking notes and everything else. It's just, uh, uh, I think it's a little more effective. Uh, I think a lot of the stuff I'll go back and like read something again. I never saw the first time or never heard Did it, maybe my mind straight at that particular moment consistently. You know, we all do that, but anyway, yeah, good if stuff. I listen, if I listen to a really good book, um, I will buy, go buy the physical book also okay. because I want to learn it at a deeper level. Yeah. Um, I've got on my computer, I've got Kindle open up in the background because I have to, I'm international for you guys. Some of you guys don't know that, but I'm in Panama right now. And, uh, which is kind of cool. You know, it's, it's like America. I mean, there's McDonald's right down the street. <laughs> it's just basically the same thing, but it's, uh, uh, I've been, I've been in some of these other countries and when you go to the bookstore, everything's in Spanish and I speak good Spanish, but I'd rather read it in English, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I got into Kindle and Amazon and all that stuff. And, uh, uh, but it's kind of cool because you can highlight everything else. 
but reading i think is a uh is a really good preparation for actually doing but if we don't actually implement and go out and make the mistakes and and figure out the nuances uh we, we don't really have our head around things and a lot of these guys will go take same thing with sitting in a classroom they'll go take these classes on sales or on business and and the lights will start to come on, right? But when you're actually doing it, I re did you ever do your financials the way I did? I, I, I literally, this before they had spreadsheets, I literally went and bought one of those green, big, oversized notebooks and created a spreadsheet. I had every service call and, and I knew, you know, the type of work it was, what we were charging, how much money I was making off each one. And I, I did this for a while, a whole lot of work. You talk about understanding your numbers. You you start actually going in and doing this stuff. It it yeah no I never did that. <laughs> it, it really well. Uh, I, I had some uh, I had some circumstances that allowed me to do that briefly. Yeah. Because uh, you know most of the time I was like you guys out there. You know I was in the attic or up in the house or <clears throat> something like that. But when I got to a certain size, I was able to do that, and it really uh, made a difference. We had. Uh, DOS based programs back then this before QuickBooks actually kicked off in and you know these CRMs were out there and everything else so we had to do it old school way and when you do things physically and in in, in manually and then go get software to or write software or find software that will do that sometimes it will improve it but a lot of times the software that's out there can't do what it is that you're trying to do and and there's uh, so you have to duplicate processes sometimes and things like this, but, um, and I don't know why I'm going on this path, but that was one of my, the problems that I had with all the software that was coming out. We had this way of doing things and, but we couldn't find software that would do it, you know, and, uh, that only comes through trial and error, making mistakes. Um, and yeah, you know. a mentor that I follow, he says, he says, it's a difference between knowledge that there's a, you know, a, a definite, definite difference between knowledge and wisdom. Yeah. You know, knowledge comes from reading, listening, watching, but wisdom comes from doing, from actually experiencing the thing, whatever it is. All right. So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna introduce something to you right now. We've not we've not rehearsed this. I had a kid come to we didn't me. Rehearse any of this, honestly, ever, but <laughs> ever, ever. Well, you know what I'm saying. So yeah. the kid comes to me and what we're, we're going through an exercise of creating your story as a business owner. What is your story? How did you come into our business? And we, and we find something to work with there and it becomes part of your branding. Okay. So, so I'm working with this kid and he writes this entire piece and it just, I, I never considered this. He's like, yeah, I was on YouTube one day. And I come across this heating and air technician was fixing stuff. And I thought, man, I'd like to do that. And he said, I went into this uh, where I just immersed myself. And it was like video after video after video, all these technician videos. And I was learning all this stuff. And I started picking all this stuff up. And I, and I could not relate to that. There was such a disconnect for me. I'm wondering if you, Kelly, can relate to this. I bet you there's a lot of people that are listening to this can that can, can relate to this, and that's that's how they've been exposed to so much by watching YouTube videos and learning through <laughs> video that way. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, I think as long as I have a reference, you know, I can reference something that's like it, or because I'm in the HVAC industry, HVAC industry. And was a technician for so many years. I mean, it's different because, yeah, I could watch a video and then learn how to go do it. Um, and I think you can, you know, there's been lots of times like um, replacing one of the headlamps on my old uh, Dodge pickup. It's an absolute bitch to change. <laughs> like you have to get up behind, you got to unsnap like the part of the wheel well and you got to have this special wrench to get up in there. And it's got to be like this long, you know, like, I don't know, like the camera yeah. here. So, oh. I mean, it's got to be like, I don't know, 12 inches long to reach back in there. So you have to have extensions and stuff. Like I would have never figured that out without YouTube. Yeah. 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 
yeah, yeah. So Been there's, there. yeah, there's lots of things that anytime for years, if there's something physical that I'm doing and I don't know how to do it, I would, I would go to YouTube. Well, you and know, so and, I get it. I get it. Like, and people know this. I was at a conference a couple months ago and all the ladies that were in the room, they were like, oh yeah, technicians go to YouTube. That's how they figure out how to fix your stuff when they're at your house. Like they already know that technicians are out there learning on the job by watching YouTube videos. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, and, and customers are starting to go around, you know, us and, and do it themselves. You know, those who yeah. are mechanically inclined. Yeah. But uh, I, uh, I, I traveled down to South America one time and uh, they had those little room safes, you know, where you push a little button, you program your code and then. Yeah. So I put my wallet in there. I probably have about six or eight hundred dollars in cash in my passport. And so when I went to set it, I did something wrong and it, I couldn't get it open. And so, but there's a master key in the back. And so I called the lady that was the admin. And long story short, they didn't have the master key. I had to catch a flight. She was on her on the way over and she had been sick and and she she comes up with her boyfriend and they come over and so the boyfriend's in there doing YouTube. Yeah. He takes the safe. I, and he does I literally something. just saw this. I saw a YouTube video not very long ago for, for this exact thing. There's like a certain code you can punch in and it tricks the machine and it goes ahead and opens. Well, he had a knife and he positioned it and banged it in a certain way or something like that. And he was showing it, boom, popped right open. And I was like, oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> why did I even put stuff in the safe if you can just go to YouTube and open it up. But, but yeah, it's, it's, it's changing things. And, um, but I was really amazed at that and I watch, but you know, I, I don't know if you're this way. I watch technical videos with more critical eye. I'm like, well, why, why didn't you do it that way? Why, why didn't you check this? You know, do, do you, do you, do you know what an ohm meter is for? <laughs> right? I honestly have hardly watched a single technician video my no. entire career. Um, I mean, by the time YouTube got popular and grew and started having technicians posted on there, I already knew what I was doing. Yeah. I was already, I learned on my own, like the hard way and, and through trial and error and making a bunch of mistakes. And so not that I know everything by any means. I'm not no, saying that. I'm just I can saying relate that, to that. I can relate. Cause I get ADD. I, I'm like, you know, come on, come on, hurry up, hurry up. You know, he's yeah. like. I can't sit through it, but one of the things that, that ultimately happened was my son at the age of 30 decides he's going to do heating and air. Now he went to college. He did, uh, he, he just did a lot of stuff. He was doing some sales and everything else. And he ends up going and he's working for a big mechanical uh, contract. He starts a YouTube channel. And so he, Ramsey something, uh, I can't remember what it is, but, um, my son, by the way, is, uh, his mom's Hispanic, so he's real dark hair, uh, better looking than this old man. But he goes in there and he'll do these videos. And I'll say, well, before you make the video, take the screwdriver off the top of the camera. <laughs> you know, it's just little things that are driving me nuts. And, uh, you know, he 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 uh, diagnosed a defective glow coil on a, on a train, a Voyager system. Uh, and I'm like, you know, the senior tech came over and I was like, who is that? And I actually knew the guy because we worked together years ago, like 30 years ago. And uh, he's still out there in the field, but so I watch for, for, for different reasons, but I do watch his. Yeah. That's, that's my yeah. Son. I love my son. You know, I'm going to support him. And, uh, uh, yeah. but it, it, it made me realize cause he, he like had no subscribers and he says, he puts a video up service call on Christmas day. Cause he ran a call and yeah. it blew up. It was like, 2000 views and, and just crazy hours. yeah yeah crazy. You, you can you can make i don't know if people understand this but for one um i'm going to tell everybody on here watching this as a business owner double down triple down on your content creation it doesn't yeah. matter what you're doing you know if you want to build a personal brand or not, you own a business. So you're, it's your responsibility and duty to build that brand. So yeah. double down, triple down on your content creation, like start today. Um, but anybody out there that wants to make, I mean, it's crazy. You can, 
if you get to the point where you have 200,000, 400,000 subscribers, like you can make multiple six figures just being paid by YouTube. Like you don't, it's so, it's insane. And so, um, and if I was still in the field, I'd be shooting videos every day and I get rich off my YouTube channel. Wow. Yeah. I've, ne I've never, I don't have to worry about that problem. <laughs> Our niche is, yeah, so I'm not tiny. going back in the field. So, <laughs> yeah. But, but uh, what I was just... saying is for, for you, you and I both have YouTube video, uh, YouTube channels. Um, yeah. And our niche is so tight that there's not a whole lot of people that are watching this type of content. It's very specialized. Right. And we do it for the passion, not the money, obviously. Um, I mean, you know, it leads to customers and stuff like this. But um, with on that content creation, you're, you know, yeah, I couldn't agree more. And I was thinking of something else. I lost my thought. So, yeah, I'll let you, uh, I'll hand it back over to you. Well, good for him. Good for him that he got, um, you know, I, I started another YouTube channel because I was just going to talk about success principles, like completely separate from HVAC, anything HVAC. And I, I shot like an intro video and then just like my very first video. And that was like two, three weeks ago. It has zero views. So they, they say that when you get started, you got to pump out 100 videos. Don't right. worry about like how, don't worry about the quality necessarily. Don't you know um, so, it doesn't have to be super special but you got to get traction say. that's what i was going to say back to that so so you're a business owner and you're out there and you're yeah. following kelly's advice i'm going to shoot i'm going to shoot some videos put some content out there here's what you do you keep take the camera vertical to, you know you, I'm, I'm putting in this new nest thermostat here's where we're going to do this and here's what it means blah 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 try to keep it under 60 seconds if it can be under 60 seconds it when when it uploads is considered a short hashtag short short video they've they've really uh boot they're boosting those because they're trying to compete with tiktok basically and because it's just taken off and yeah. you you don't have to do all the fancy editing or anything like that to kelly's point there just just put yourself out there i've got two guys who are doing really well in this and we've got two mastermind groups of business owners we meet a couple of times a month just like this and, and just talk about stuff. And they're, they're doing that and they're really good. And it's funny because the one guy, he didn't even like to smile. Love this guy. He's, you know, I, he and I met when he first started his business because he was looking for some help, just like, you know, like you do. And so we worked together for about a year or, or something like that, but he stayed in our mastermind group even after he, you know, graduated on out and, and, and is getting big, but he is, he gets in front of that camera and he's just gotten so used to it. He just, he's one take, boom. You toss a little bit about it, boom, uploads it. Yeah. Done. yeah. And it, you get yeah. better with practice, but people like they want everything to be perfect before they get started. Yeah. And I'm just here to tell you, get that out of your head. It don't have to be perfect. Yeah. It don't, it don't have to be good. It can suck. You know, there's yeah. um this gal that she wrote a book, um, I cannot think of the name, but her name's Marie Forleo and she's, she's really funny, but um, she says it's better. It's better starting small and sucky than staying stucky. <laughs> Something stupid like that. <laughs> Start small and sucky instead of staying stucky. Yeah. Did you ever follow? I just say get started. Mike Littman back in the day. Remember him? Mike Littman. I don't I heard know. Who that name is. I, I think he kind of, I haven't heard from him in years, but he's, you know, you, you just got to get started. Basically, you don't have to be good. You just got to get yeah. started. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just got to get started. And yep. so, yeah. And then that thing that that's with everything. But um, yeah, content creation is going to be king. Um, I, I saw a statistic recently that said 10% of businesses started doing videos on TikTok will go viral, which I thought was a crazy number. So maybe learning how to, how to create a little bit more, um, what do you call it? Enga uh, engagement with the, with the viewer, adding music yeah. and stuff like that would be good. And, you know, you can get to the point where you're on your phone instead of doing your job. So yeah, to your point, Kelly, just, just put it out there, but. Well, you know. the thing is, is once you get home, you're on your phone anyways. I yeah. mean, at least an hour, 
Well, just spend 30 minutes of that hour creating your own content instead of consuming other people's content. And do a little research because if you upload it at certain hours, it does better than on other hours. I think on YouTube, it's like 930 to 1030 in the morning and then 230 to 3:30 in the afternoon are the best times to upload. You know, because I've I've had them just like take off, boom, or others just to lay flat and not do anything. Just it's just timing, you know. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I, I've I've I never know which videos are going to be like catch on or not. Like some some three minute video will get six hundred views in the first two days, and then another yeah. video that's that I that I put way more thought into and right. share way more valuable content, and it might you know it might be six yeah. minutes but it gets 150 views. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah or, I, or sometimes I never know. Or, like... Yeah. I mean, sometimes you won't get any views. It's, it's really good to uh, uh, get some family members to subscribe to you and just say, just support me and watch my videos. And, and here's the key. Um, you want, if you're going to put your content out there, you need, you need likes, you need interaction, uh, shares. I used to know this. You need uh, comments, uh, subscriptions, uh, you know, notifications, and and when you sh- uh, and views, views all the way through it. You know, don't just watch first ten seconds and uh, bump out. Uh, I think there's some algorithms in there that if you watch most of it and then click to the channel, they see more. That that actually helps. It's stuff like that. So uh, if you get your family involved, just say, look. Watch my videos, but please let it play all the way through, even if you're not listening to it. You no, know? I, I encourage people in my coaching group to like keep shooting videos. Yeah, just keep posting them. I they don't have to be great, just do it. Yeah. Um, yeah. there's a guy that I've seen. I don't know exactly where he's from, but his name is is like Anthony Wright, and he's the Cyan Tech. He like he did a great job of branding himself, and then he hired Dan Antonelli to do his his trucks and his his logo and everything and he's he's blown up and i i i know a good reason you know a a good he's gotten a good amount of business and spread the word because he branded himself very well on on facebook so and G- gary kudos Van- to him gary v job. gary v yeah. Yander, gary vandercheck wrote a book called jab uh was it jab 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 right hook. right hook something like that. But the point, the, the point is your content should be serving and giving, give, 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 yes. resist the temptation for more information. Call me right here. Right. <laughs> Just avoid that. Just, uh, you, you drop your, drop your dot com in the background or something like, like what will you do here? And just stay focused on giving, just give, just give. And, uh, you know, people will, will see, wow this HVAC business owner knows what they're doing. I wonder if they can fix that little problem that I have. You know, we're putting in the air scrubber today. We're going to be talking about this and the other, and just boom, 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 hit the highlights and move on and keep it basic. And, and- get TubeBuddy. Um, I recommend TubeBuddy. It's not very expensive, but it actually um, helps you um, create tags for your video so it gets found more often it's got like a checklist that you can follow i don't really follow it but it has a way to (laughs) um weight your your tat your just video description yeah uh, your title of your video because the title is like one of the most you know profound things that if you if you nail the title like you'll automatically get a lot more views so yep yeah, and if you have a nice thumbnail with with visual impact, mm-hmm. so that, that's called video optimization. Um, using hashtags, descriptions, uh, you know, you can do uh, backlinks. You can do something called belly links. There's, there's all kind of stuff in there. There's uh, write articles, uh, chat. G, uh, what do you call it? Chat. What GPT? GPT. Yeah. GPT. I, I gotta get caught. I gotta get caught up with that. Uh, uh, It'll write the articles for you. <laughs> right. Well, what what they what they would do is they go out to these blog sites, write these articles, spin them into multiple articles. In other words, you write an article, put it through a spinning software, 
and all of a sudden you have multiple articles basically saying the same thing and you drop the link to your video in there. And before you know it, and you publish these out there through Fiverr or something like that, next thing you know, your video is taken off. So there, there are strategies that the experts use, but for the rest of us, just to your point, Kelly, just be out there, be yourself. And uh, I think you'll be surprised how many people are drawn to that. You know, they can relate to. Anyway, yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. It doesn't have yeah. to be fancy. Once again, just get out there and get in front of the camera and start talking. Yeah, they're gonna start talking. Hey, today I've got three calls on my schedule. I'm going to, um, you know, I got two no heats, and we got another one that's making noise. So I'll keep you posted throughout the day and let you know how my day goes. If you guys need anything, please call. Me. Blah 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 blah. You know, I mean, it doesn't have to be fancy. Just yeah. <laughs> or. You know, um, if it was, if the weather is bad, well, tell people about it, you know, like you drive into your shop, well, give them a, a weather report. So other people who are getting ready to leave their house, you know, might see it. And I don't know, just things like that to help any way you can help lend a helping hand to your community and your following. Yeah. And your most boring, we, Something else that you I heard you say, uh, Kelly, was uh, when you're going out on that service call and you really do a good explanation of that customer, explaining you know the capacitor and and why what it does, and uh, and then after after a period of time, you just like look, it's a capacitor, it's a bad capacitor. You don't want to explain, and we have to we have to pull ourselves back and keep it uh, keep you know that it it's not the customer's fault. They've never heard of that before, and you've said it a thousand times. It's a similar approach with these videos. Slow down, speak, explain it as if you're you're explaining it to one of your children. You know, maybe not a five year old, but you know what I'm saying. Maybe you're explaining it to your high schooler or you know you know a teenager, and explain things. And it it may be totally boring to you and I and the rest of us have seen this a gazillion times, but to that viewer, it may be the first time. And if you can find anything that is interesting like taking a picture of the most disgusting slime coming out of the drain line or that little video clip you know where you're where you're flushing the drain line and all that stuff comes out or whatever it's like a snake coming out stuff like that and you get a zoomed in you know that's your video and people are like what the you know and all of a sudden you're getting views you're getting interest and uh yeah you know, say we do this all the time you wouldn't believe what's in your drain system so today you know we're over here at mr mckelly's house and <laughs> mr mckay's house and we're out here and we're doing this at the whatever and so uh yeah it's in our it's entertaining um there was another the guy it's like i want to billy jean billy jean that dude that he was a marketer and um he says that you want to um, entertain, you know, entertainment's like number one, like you, you want to get more views, be entertaining. And, um, but he gave some ideas that I've shared in the past and I don't remember them all. So I apologize. But one of them was like, go around some landmarks that are in your town or the neighboring towns and just shoot a video with like, park your truck in front of the landmark, you know, of course, if as long as it's legal to park there and stand in front of your truck and say, you know, just talk about the landmark or just literally just look it up online and find out some history about the landmark and just get on there and talk about it and say, you know, um, I was in town today here in the city of Tawanda, Kansas, and I passed this landmark and I thought I wanted to learn more about this. So I looked it up on Google. Did you guys know that this blah, 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 blah. I thought that was pretty interesting. So anyhow, that's all I have. I'll talk to you guys later. If you guys need, need any heating, air conditioning, um, you know, anything done on your house or, or your business, please give me a call. I mean, little things like that are so easy to do, require little to no effort, really, little to no thinking. Um, but it you never know. That could be the video that goes viral in your area. And thousands and thousands of people can see it. And it didn't cost you a penny to make. You right. know, so and it gets your it gets the word out there and people know who you are because 
That's what Grant Cardone always says is like the number one business killer is obscurity. People yeah. don't know you exist. Yep. Yep. You know, ev every, another thing my mentor says is like, um, like, yeah, I'm not going to say that, but <laughs> the, nerd. Um, the thing is, is that they can't buy anything from you if, if they don't know you even exist, just put it that way. Like they have remember. to know you're in business. You you can't, or they can't remember you. Uh, the, you said so many things, but the other thing to uh, entertainment is educational. So those are the big two. And I didn't want to put words in your mouth. I was that. big when I started first um, learning about marketing and advertising. It was all. Um, and that's the big educate. thing that we can do yeah. is be educational and if you can be it, if you can be educational in an entertaining way, that's the one-two punch. But don't be a clown and don't whatever. But do stand out. And I think I told this story before. Um, when I was uh, in the army, I was stationed in Colorado Springs, Fort Carson. There, and there was a guy who had local TV spots, and uh, he did these shouting in the uh, camera commercials. Did I ever tell you that story? And uh, at one point he's shaving his head on, on the TV as he said, we're crazy with these promotions. You know, the, these tennis shoes are nine ninety nine or whatever, you know, they're just, yeah. And we see this guy walking through the mall and we're like, Oh my gosh, there he is. Everybody knew who this guy was, but he set himself up as, as being, you know, there was no confusing him with him and his business with anybody else. And I bought shoes yeah. from the guy, you know, so go shave your head on live TV, do a live stream of that. That'll help your business out. There were several people that, that had commercials all the time growing up that, you know, just had little local businesses there in Wichita area. And when we, once or twice, whatever, you'd wind up seeing them out and about and you're just like, oh, there's that guy, you know, because you right. just recognize him. Kind of like yeah, a local yeah, yeah. celebrity. Speaking of celebrity, I hear you're going to be uh, giving a speech, uh, Indiana. Something like yeah, that. Indiana. Tell, tell um, us a little bit about where you're going. Plainfield area. I don't know if I've ever been to Indiana, Indiana before, but I'm going to be there Wednesday oh, evening when my flight yeah. lands. <laughs> and so I'll be talking to some train dealers um, out there. So I'm like super excited about that. Yeah. Yeah. Train dealers are good. I like train dealers. Uh, so uh, any, any particular topic? Um, I'm going to help them discover some untapped potential in their business, basically. Okay. That's, yeah. that's the, the topic is discovering untapped potential in your business. Within your so, business. That's a great topic. That's a great yeah. topic. So, so many of us get so focused on looking outside of our business for, for, for potential that Absolutely. we don't see the opportunities within. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good, that's an excellent topic. Absolutely. So I mean, yeah, I'm not going to get into it because I don't want to ruin anything on there for anybody who might possibly be watching. But um, I got some really cool handouts, too, and I just picked them up today. So <clears throat> I ordered them, nice. ordered them last night. So there's the talk about HVAC success principles, but really we're talking about discovering un untapped potential. My wife like made some air. Like I went in, fixed these problems that I had in here. <laughs> sure. But anyhow, then we've got a little exercise thing that we're gonna do, and then um, I got some free training for them that I've set up in my on my website, and they can figure out how to do that by reading that. This yeah. is our. So anyhow, I'm excited about that. Um, it's being put on by a one of the territory managers. And so he, he reached out to me because he saw me on YouTube and said, Hey, would you like to do this? I'm like, absolutely. Let's do it. Nice. So I'm excited. Nice. We were gonna, nice. I was going to be going, I was going to be going to Cincinnati the very next day and they were going to have another little mini conference there, but I guess they didn't have enough people sign up for it. So it's just Indiana. So which yeah. I'm actually thankful for because it's my first like talk, like public talk. I mean, I've talked to my team hundreds of times, um, but it wasn't like a 
a presentation and a crafted, you know, I say crafted, I'm not even going to call it crafted, but <laughs> a, a speech, like an actual speech, you know, I rely on my slides heavily, so I have to have slides, but um, it's good information. So I just hope they get value. That's my main thing. I just want to make sure, like you just said earlier, just provide value. That's, that's my goal. I'm hoping that somebody needs to hear what I have to share and it could be a turning point for them in their life if they, and, and their business, if they just, if they're ready for it. Yeah. 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 Um, uh, standing up there and, and giving uh, lectures and, and presenting in front of larger groups. Uh, it's a little bit different dynamic than this, obviously, where it's just a yeah. camera. And um, I know the first time I was fortunate that I was exposed very early, but dude, I remember giving my book report as a little boy in, in, in school and just terrified to stand in front of the class, you know, it was a big deal. Yeah. And, you know, when I was in the army, you had to do this kind of stuff. I think we talked about this before, but, um, and then when I went to work for Linux, we had to do a lot of training and, you know, for dealers and, and, and um, like their comfort advisors and stuff like this. And, yeah. and so, yeah, you start to get, you start to get used to it, but even if you haven't done it in a while, you step back in there, you, some butterflies will come up for whatever reason, but then you get old and then you just don't care. So I'll know. be nervous a little bit, but I, my, I'm the very last talk of the day. So I'll get to hang out with people and eat lunch with them. And so I'm hoping that'll calm my nerves and I'll be fine. I'll be fine no matter what. I'm just, Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. It'll just be a new experience for me. But it's still it's fun. So, um, I'm glad to hear you're doing that. Are you doing anything else uh, in 2023? You got anything planned? Any of the expos or anything like that? Um, don't know yet. You know, I've never been. You mean like AHR and those type type yeah, things? I'm, yeah, I, I've not been. I've never to. been. I've never had a desire to go either. Honestly, I didn't even know that they existed till about two or three years ago. Yeah, yeah. I never knew it was even a thing. Yeah. And it's been going on for I don't know how many years. I just, I'd never even heard about it before. We used to go because I had to, I, I worked for, for Linux and we would go set up a, a booth and like in Orlando or something like that. And, and we'd have to dress up and receive dealers and stuff like this and put it, ink pens in their plastic bag and a little pocket screwdrivers sometimes, stuff like that. But, uh, but some of the stuff that was, that, that it was just fun to walk around and see some of that stuff. Um, yeah. I'd, I'd go again. Um, I don't have any plans uh, this particular round. I may go, but I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do a booth. I'd just probably knock around. Yeah, I wouldn't do a face the crowd. But um, I so I don't have any plans to do anything like that. I I am going to be putting together an event, um, at least a two day event. Um, it's not going to be a pitch fest like all these other people that are putting on events all the time where they have all these speakers. It's yeah. just going to be me. You're going to learn a ton of shit. And we're going to have a great time. It's just going to be me and my, my business partner, you know, and so, and we're going to connect as a group. So, which I think is so vitally important right now. Um, so. Yeah. Yeah. You need, I'm really, meeting. really, really excited to do that. It'll be a small intimate meeting. Um, you know, I'm not inviting everybody. I'm not even going to talk about it. I mean, if somebody watches this video, this, this long into it, here on YouTube, then <laughs> good you for probably you. know about it. You probably know about it, but otherwise I'm yeah. not going to promote YouTube. I'm only offering it to my current students. And, um, well, those are fun. Yeah. Those are fun. We, yeah. you, you using this platform or something like this? I mean, Zoom. Well, I want to do an in-person event. I'm going to do an in-person event. You're going to do an in-person event. Okay. Go yeah. On. Probably in like the Phoenix area. Okay. You well, ought to come, Pete. You ought to yeah. come. I would well, invite you. No, I'd, I'd I'd love to do something like that. It just depends on the timing and everything else. Like I said, It'd I'm in Panama fun. right now. We're looking at um, maybe relocating next year, uh, and I I'm I'm kind of torn. I think I'd like to be in Florida. I'm I love Texas. And, but I've got family in North Carolina, so I, you know, there's that, but, um, I don't know, definitely the South. 
Uh, I don't know what the weather's like full time in Florida, like the Tampa area, but we were just in Tampa last week and yeah. the um the weather was beautiful. I mean it, is. it was it got a little chilly at night, but it was like sixty eight to seventy two degrees every day we were there and sunny. It was beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm down near the equator, so it's always hot down here. Yeah. I get up and go walking in the morning, and then, and I just try to be back before nine a.m. because it just gets hot. It's just it's bad. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, out there and that stuff. But uh, well, look, good. I'm glad to hear you're doing that kind of stuff, and you know, sharing and giving back and helping some other people. And I think we need to do more of that. We've gone, we've gone virtual, which is wonderful. And you know, I've actually thought about having an international event and 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 bringing some people down south. You know, like flying into here to Panama because they it, it's now that they've gotten past all this you know regulatory stuff it's it's a little easier now you don't you don't have to uh jump through a bunch of hoops to travel and they've got some really cool stuff that you can do um and there's celebrities down here all the time who was it that was walking down the street oh uh, Kurt Russell and his wife uh blonde lady what's her name they were I don't know Russell's wife. Goldie Hawn that was it that was old old school actors and actresses yeah, uh, they did a movie together called Bird on a Wire. That was one they did together. But they're a real life couple. And, you know, he was like a childhood Disney actor back in the day, back when I was a kid. You know, we used to watch him. Um, on the Mickey anyway. Mouse Club? Well, I wasn't that old. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, they had remakes of that, too. Yeah, like Justin Timberlake yeah. and what's her name came out of that. Uh, so anyway. I don't I don't watch most of that stuff anymore. It's it's changed so much that I uh, Mila, Mila Kunis. Yeah, see there, I I would not even know. Uh, Mila Kunis is hot though, so well, that, there's <laughs> That's your the motivation. Her name. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> there's plenty of those out there these days. But uh, well, good. Um, so what else is going on? Other than that, I'm just recruit. You know, not recruiting, but I'm I'm. Uh, you know, we're I'm still talking to a lot of business owners. I had five conversations. Um, I when I got back Thursday last week, and all day Friday, like my whole afternoon and into the evening was just having conversations with business owners. Um, do you find you you mentioned something before we hit record about providing a community? And I know we've done that as well. Um, are you finding what what's your experience on that? Let me just leave it wide well, open. Well, my that's my primary reason for wanting to have an in-person event. Um, because I feel like I mean, yeah, it's cool online, but it's not the same as being in person. Um, yeah. there's just yeah. a special connection when you're, you know, in a group of like-minded people who are on missions in life and that you know you get you get away from your old environment where like you're the only oddball out that actually has some ambition and drive you get around to other bunch of people in life who have ambition and drive it really right. is, is just a great feeling so i that's what i want for people i want them to come to come hang with their own kind and just it it's just the way you connect with people um it's just a deeper deeper level and so I really want to make that happen um, soon. We had, reminds me of the day, but I, I was a train dealer as well as a Linux dealer back in, mm -hmm. in, in with my business. And we would have these dealer meetings uh, from people throughout the state. And they would yeah. all go down. We go out down to like the beach and they'd have these resorts and they would have these breakout sessions where uh, we would go from room to room to room and we'd learn these different things, but we would bond with the other train dealers and i'm a big guy i'm six foot five and there was a guy gosh i can't remember his name uh last name was anderson gary gary anderson gary if you're out there it's been years but i'm six five he's like six, <laughs> he, he's like six foot nine and uh he was a little older than i was back then this is a long time ago and we would go i mean he could put away some beer and so we would go hang we go drinking uh, we're both married, so we weren't like going crazy or anything like that, but we would always buy beer and hang out down by the pool and with all the, you know, just get out there and just um, have fun. And I would go to the dealer meetings 
to hang out with Gary and some of the other guys, you know, yeah, uh, as much as really anything else, but you're right. And before you know it, you're calling, you know, bouncing ideas off each other. And so, um, exactly. I, uh, I love that. Yeah. We got to get back to, you know, flesh and blood and not just virtual. We do a lot of virtual stuff, by the way, we we've got, like I said, mastermind groups and I, these guys, they literally want to fly in and everybody hang out just because yeah. the, of the relationship that was made virtually. Absolutely. So, absolutely. But, uh, getting the schedule and get everybody on the same schedule is like pulling teeth, but that's uh, why you just don't, you can't worry about that. You just set the date and if they can make it great, if they can't maybe next time, you know, it's trying to get everybody. Cause it, that's, that's like, um, reminds me of like every year when we're trying to do Christmas with my stepmom, it's like, it's ridiculous. <laughs> like nobody can ever have the same day off. It's, yeah, there's always yeah. somebody that can't work for so we have to move the whole thing and there's been times where it's a month and a half after christmas before we get together so it's like you just can't worry about that just just do um, it all right my but brother I, i'll push you to do that if that's something you're interested in because i'm gonna do it and i'm pushing myself to do it because i want to i want to make that happen i think it'll be a ton of fun and and um these people need to hang out with each other because they're all a bunch of badass people. So I agree. And getting away from, I was going to say the cell phone and mine's not within reach. That's, that's amazing. I think it's back there oh, on the charger is. in the other room. <laughs> but getting away from those things. Yeah. And, you know, and, and actually connecting to real people and, and having conversations, it's just healthy, which, you know, if, if you're out there in the field, you're, you're able to, you know, get small moments as you, you know, as you're out there to interact with your customer, but, but yeah, getting away and, 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 and I think that's just a positive thing. So we got to get is. healthy. Again. So, all right. Well, um, I think we've gone most of an hour, haven't we? How, how are we doing on time? Yeah. yeah, I'm sure we have close enough. All right. So well, hopefully something we talked about sparked some interest in somebody and get out there and start making some content. I can tell you that like without question, say- that was what I was going to say this too. Is, yeah. That's the golden is where nugget. Everything's going. It has been going that way for a long time, but it's time to get really serious about it. Even me, like I, I'm, you know, I told myself I'm going to double down on content and I did good for a couple of days and then it fell off. So I'm going to pick, pick my, just talking about it today. It's going to help me just push myself even yeah. just to yeah. keep, keep pumping out content, just keep putting it out there. So yeah. 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 Lord knows yeah. I got, lot lots to talk about so yeah and you don't know i mean you don't know the effect that you're having on people sometimes and and i'm i'm, I'm sure that you're going to say kelly you're going to say the same thing i have had so many people tell me pete oh my gosh what an impact you've had on my business the and, and that will come right after i'll put a video out i'm like why am i doing this you know? i got a story <laughs> about this i got go ahead, a story go ahead about... go ahead so you can relate go ahead this was just, this was actually before I went to Florida. Um, but I was on the phone with a business owner and he's from California. And he was like, Kelly, I don't know if you know this, but you completely changed my business a couple wow. of years ago. I found your video yeah. and I watched it and I, ch- I changed my pricing and my business took off. And I was doing so good that my friends who at, who own businesses were like, what are you doing? Wow. And he was like, and he was like, so I shared your video with them and then they started doing good. <laughs> wow. And then no kidding. Just um, a week later when uh, what, Friday, when I was on a call um, just last week, um, another guy said the same thing. He's two and a half times his business just from one video that I, that I shared on YouTube. So so I do yeah. hear it a lot too. Yeah. And, and you're like me, you put a lot of stuff out there that you don't charge for and yeah, you know, it's good for the industry. I think, you know, and if you can help somebody good, you kind of have to go in with it. You, with your viewers, don't worry about making money, just help people just help. And the business will come, you know, the problem jab, that I see, jab, jab, hook. the problem that I see with a lot of business owners is 
they think they mistake watching a video. They mistake that knowledge that they gained as wisdom. Like it's not wisdom. They didn't implement it. They're not getting results from it. And they think that they're, they continue to search for more knowledge, more knowledge, more knowledge, more knowledge, but they're not changing anything in their company. It's And they yeah. just sit there on the That's hamster wheel, on the hamster wheel, in the, in the rat race, like not moving fast enough or forward enough. And they're getting tired. They're tired of running on the hamster wheel. So, but yet they won't take any action to, uh, to do anything about it because I know they think they can just go out and find more knowledge by watching the next YouTube video, but they don't implement anything. So, so nothing changes. So, so I'll throw this out there. Anybody stick around this long, we are putting together, uh, this is a guy I work with uh, outside of you and I, obviously um, a set of daily habits that are designed for the HVAC business owner specifically that keep you dialed in it's not you know learning these things are great but are you doing this every day boom 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 right. boom and we put the accountability in place and we're gonna we're gonna go through a specific period of time we're gonna measure before we're gonna measure after and watch what it does watch what this does to your business yeah but if you're a butterfly and you're information hunting all over the place and yeah you you gain this information that's what most people are doing you know um it's like with with um when when it comes to coaching like and and helping people grow their businesses it's 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 like if i gave you would you pay me 10 dollars for me to give you 100 would you pay me 100 would you pay me 100 if i gave you 1000 you know would you pay me Five thousand. If I gave you twenty-five thousand, would you pay me ten thousand? If I gave you two hundred thousand, you know, it's like it's literally that's what it is. Um, and it's and uh, it's it's a simple decision, but so many people will not make the decision <laughs> for whatever reason. And so, and I don't push it. It's a commitment. I, I don't ever it's a commitment. push it. I mean. I don't push it because I don't care if they don't want to, you know, it's, we have an offer. You want to join? Cool. If not, cool. Yeah. Um, it's not that I don't care about them. I, I want to help everybody. No, they have to be ready. They have to be ready. But they they have, have to be to ready. Action. Yeah. 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 It's, it, it's this thing here. That's, that's my thing too. Just like yours. If you, you know, it, it's, it, there's two, two different people that don't make it. The ones that don't start, the ones that don't finish everybody else they're gonna they're gonna have that return on investment period you yeah, just, absolutely. just gotta do it and you know it is what it is you know yeah but if you're not ready if you're just in information gathering mode that's okay too but ultimately something's gonna happen but if you'd been you know running your business for 15 years and you're still getting the same result and you're kind of stuck and you're not sure what to do that's still don't searching for, here. for knowledge like i just yeah. don't i don't understand that um, well, they think it doesn't work because, you know, I understand that does not equate to, I have implemented that. It, it, it's just not the same. Right. Thing. Right. And, yeah. and a lot of times we interpret that is that to what I just said, or tried to say that doesn't work around here. You don't understand my market. And while that's true. Okay. That's also true that, you know, you haven't, perhaps you haven't internalized it and actually implemented it to your point, like the guy that actually went out and implemented your pricing and, and, and made some adjustments. So there's both are real, you know, but uh, some of it is more here than it actually is around you. 80% mental, 20% mechanical. Yeah. But 20% is still there. So. Just, oh yeah. Yeah. It's necessary. We're not, we're not, 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 uh, not, not acknowledging that because it is real. But uh, yeah, you got to get got to get your head in the game, and that means you got to get out there and make it happen, baby. Do it. That's right. Can't sit back and wait for it to happen for you. All right, my brother. Well, this has been another good one. Um, yeah, and, uh, go out and, and and put yourself out there. Do your content. Do your little channel. Get on YouTube. Get on Instagram. Get on Tiki Taki. 
<laughs> TikTok. And I don't even have a you. I don't even do TikTok just just because. I don't do TikTok either. I have I set up yeah. an account. I just I don't like it. I did one video and I was like, man, do I want to do this again? You know, and so, <laughs> whatever you know, it just uh, depends on. But you know, you go where your customers are, and so I think ultimately we have to do that. But um, good stuff, bro. Good stuff, like always. Yep. All right. Well, you guys, Appreciate we'll, see, Thanks we'll for see you Hope on the next one and. Hang in there. Yep. All right. Peace.